Hi, I'm Nat. I was one of the original designers of the Xbox. I've been working with computers since I was maybe seven years old, uh, and now I work on virtual reality. Computers are everywhere. They're in people's pockets. They're in people's cars. We'll have them on their wrists. They might be in your backpack right now. But what makes a computer a computer? What does make a computer a computer anyway? And how does it even work? As humans, we've always built tools to help us solve problems. Tools like a wheelbarrow, a hammer, or a printing press, or a tractor trailer. All of these inventions helped us with manual work. Over time, people began to wonder if a machine could be designed and built to help us with the thinking work we do, like solving equations or tracking the stars in the sky. Rather than moving or manipulating physical things like dirt and stone, these machines would need to be designed to manipulate information. The earliest computers were made out of wood and metal with mechanical levers and gears. By the 20th century, though, computers started using electrical components. These early computers were really large and really slow. A computer the size of a room might take hours just to do a basic math problem. These machines are things of gleaming, very colored metal and numerous flashing lights. Computers started out as basic calculators, which was already really awesome at the time, and they were only manipulating numbers back then. But now we can use them to talk to each other, we can use them to play games, control robots, and do any crazy thing that you could probably imagine. The computers we use today look really different from the earliest thinking machines. And who knows what the computers of tomorrow will be like. My hope is that you get to help decide what you want the computers of tomorrow to look like. <laughs>